Now let's talk about the weather because if you've lived in Oklahoma any <laughs> amount of time, you know that it really wasn't spring when we thought it was spring. Uh, yeah, we're breaking records at the beginning of the week, getting yep. sleet and snow yeah. toward the end of the week. There yes, you go. a little bit of everything. Um, today, we've had some rain, we've had some sleet and some snow. In fact, Jim Gardner, he was out. Rich Kriegel, so his photographer that's out with them, uh, he actually had some sleet that was accumulating on his uh, yeah. car there. You can definitely see that. But then Jim, when they were up in the air, uh, Jim could actually see some snowflakes. And it was kind of hard to see it in this view you can definitely see the fog but he was up high enough where he could actually see some very very fine light snow falling and yeah it obviously didn't accumulate we had more sleet that accumulated than anything and quite a bit of rain that came through and we still have some rain in some spots let's go ahead and go to links one show you this video so jed castle sent this one and this is just in his backyard in edmond and he slowed down the video so that we could actually see the snowflakes that were falling so uh, really pretty I, I think it's you know it's february 29th so we're about to get rid of that and eventually things are really going to change around here but we still have have some precipitation showing up on next and live mainly along and east of I-35 some of the heaviest just off to the east but you can definitely tell in north central Oklahoma basically from just south of Newkirk to Marlin Perry Glencoe Pawnee Stillwater you have some heavy rain at times still pockets of sleet around Crescent Mohol Guthrie Seward a little bit lighter in Seward but Oklahoma City Metro now we're starting to see some breaks so we are slowly starting to clear things out from the west off to the east, but still some heavier rain right around Shawnee, Tecumseh, Pink, St. Louis, Etowah, and then farther down to the south, it's starting to become a little bit lighter around Paws Valley, Winniewood, and Stratford. But everything lifting off to the northeast, we're going to be clearing out pretty quickly. So far for at least Oklahoma City at the airport, we've seen a tenth of an inch. So uh, not a whole lot by any means, but we're going to start to see eventually more storms down the road. We could definitely benefit from that. This is our interesting camera up of our Lucky Star Skycam Network. We're down to 36 degrees. We also have a South Southeast wind at six miles an hour, wind chills in the low 30s. We're still at 39 in Chandler, 36 in at Piedmont, 34 in Yukon, and 34 degrees right now in Mustang. Some low 50s where the rain has yet to move in, but eventually will. Some low to upper 30s across the west, some low 40s still hanging on across the south with that south to southeast wind between about 5 to 15. Still seeing some higher wind gusts across the west, so wind chills are still a factor. It feels more like the low to upper 20s across parts of western Oklahoma. Even feels like 27 degrees right now in El Reno. But again, this storm is just going to continue to lift off to the north and east. A high pressure eventually building in. So we should start to clear those skies out overnight tonight. So tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see lots of sunshine. The weekend certainly looking a lot warmer. Tomorrow, I think we're just going to wind up in the 60s. Not terribly warm, but better than today. But Saturday and Sunday, 70s and 80s. The problem is, as we get into Saturday, that wind is really going to start to crank up. So we're going to have to watch that fire threat more so in western Oklahoma before the next storm moves in. But when does that storm move in? Well, as of right now it looks like by Monday we do have a cold front that's going to move through the rain and storm chances overall for Oklahoma City they're going to be very low but maybe in eastern Oklahoma that chance is going up just a little bit more than behind that temperatures fall but we're still going to stay mild so we're only dropping down into the 60s the better storm the stronger storm that looks to arrive sometime on Thursday with more rain chances across the state and then that following weekend now we're looking at March 9th March 10th and there is another chance of rain but temperatures look a lot cooler than that so again, as we go throughout the evening, eventually all the rain moving into eastern Oklahoma overnight tonight, the rain's going to go away. Skies will clear out. So rain chances obviously are going to be a lot more likely across the far east. Temperatures tonight dropping down to about 31 in Oklahoma City, 32 in Jones, 33 in Edmond, 32 in Midwest City. We're looking at the low 30s across north central, northwestern Oklahoma, but upper 20s around Clinton, about 30 though in Lawton. Tomorrow afternoon, 62 in Chandler, 63 in Yukon, 63 in El Reno, 62 tomorrow afternoon in Piedmont, so a big difference here, a southeast wind between 10 to 20, mid to upper 60s across parts of western and southwest Oklahoma, Saturday even better, but more wind, so 76 in Oklahoma City, mid to upper 70s across the west, the fire threat will be high that day, relative humidity will be low, good news is, Sunday afternoon, at least the wind subsides quite a bit, but it's still going to be very warm and very dry, so we're still going to have to watch that pretty closely, and then again, by Monday, storm comes in, slight chance that we actually get anything here in Oklahoma City metro, temperatures in the mid 70s cold front drops through temperatures dropping down into the 60s and then the entire weather team will be at the zoo next saturday in the morning for the severe weather awareness expo we'll be right back